Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to remove OneDrive shortcut from File Explorer. All right, right here. As you can see, we have OneDrive in here. So to delete that, okay, I'm just going to move this one aside. Just go ahead over to the search bar and type in regedit. Okay, you'll be able to see registry editor. Just click on it. That will be a pop up. Just click on yes. Now in here, just for you to see. All right. Now in here, Notice we still have OneDrive. Now what we're going to do here, okay, is just go ahead over to H key class root. Click on the right arrow key. Now in here, look for CLS ID. All right. Go to C like so. Now go ahead and look for CLS ID right here. Click on it, right arrow, and this one will open. Now, the next thing that we would do is just go ahead and press Control plus F on our keyboard. Again, Control plus F, all right? The Find option will show. So the next thing that you would do is just copy the text that is in the description or the folder ID. Right-click and paste that in here. Once done, just hit on Find Next. As you can see here, it is now highlighted. Now look for System.is pinned to namespace tree. As you can see here, it is set to one. That means that it will show. Now just double click on it. Now set this one to zero, like so. And notice when I press on OK, the drive right here or OneDrive will be gone from our file explorer. Gonna hit on OK. And as you can see here, the other drive is gone. And I have here one left because I have set it up in a different way. All right. Now another option, if you want to remove OneDrive from here and uh, remove it entirely on your system, okay? You can go ahead and uh, go to your search bar and type in add or remove programs. Like so, click on add or remove programs. In here, go to search apps, locate Microsoft OneDrive, okay? As you can see here, I have it already in here. I'm gonna click on the three dots and hit on uninstall. Uninstall once more and there'll be a pop-up. Just click on yes. Wait for it to load. It is technically done, but as you can see, it's still in here. Just go, and go, go to the left panel and go to personalization, go to apps once more, go to installed apps, and as you can see here, it's gone. That's basically how you do it. Well, I hope this video helps and I'll see you in the next one.